Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You and I'm back with another RuPaul's Drag Race Review Season 12, Episode 9. Let's get into it. Um, it's called Choices 2020. Well, the girls come back from, you know, from the elimination and um, Heidi changed her name to Heidi Hydrate. I like it, Heidi Hydrate. I like it. Sherry, um, Sherry Pie comes for Widow, telling her she's been safe through the whole competition. And I've been saying the same thing, Widow. I love you, girl, but I'm like, it's going to catch up. It's not always good to be safe. Um, Rue comes in and tells the girls their mini challenge, and they had to do like a um, cat and drag. And it was so funny. Everybody was funny. But I knew... Jackie was going to win. Jackie won because she just gave me like an earthy cat fit, like a rich cat. Oh, it was so, it was funny. It was so funny. Um, the maxi challenge was the, you know, the present debate. This is my least favorite episode of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, um, during each season. I just don't like the, you know, election, um, president debate. I didn't, I don't like it. Rue and Raven checks on the girls while they was brainstorming in the workroom. And the girls um, was sharing their personal experiences, you know, about Trump being president, some of their family members voting for him and things like that. Um, then we, I'm just, I'm fast forwarding y'all. Then we come to RuPaul comes out in a beautiful um, orange curly fro with a peach and uh, sky blue gown. It was beautiful. Um, the guest judge was um, Jeff um, Bloom. I Y'all know the guy to play on Law & Order. He played on, uh, what was that? The Fly, the movie The Fly. He played on a lot of stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And Rachel Bloom. Um, st um The runway uh, thing, theme was uh, Stars and Stripes runway. And um, Crystal was Camp USA. Heidi gave you like a red, red hair pin up um, 4th of July Dolly Parton type of girl. Widow was like a Black Panther. It was beautiful with stars. And I put Black Panther pageant. Sherry was like 4th of July rock and roll star. Um, Jackie was like a 4th of July, like a Muslim beauty. It was beautiful. Very beautiful, Jackie. Gigi was like a Captain Crunch meets Quaker Oats. I didn't like it, but, you know, very campy. Jada was like a superhero meets Coco. I put superhero Coco. <laughs> it was beautiful. Um... The debate, um, they love Shari, they love her look, um, they was tired of her character, you know, she, Shari almost act like an old woman, um, Crystal, they loved her debate, um, too much going on for the runway, they didn't like her look. Let's see. Heidi, they loved her debate, and they liked her look, they, they liked her look. Widow, they loved her look, but they did. They wanted her her debate. She was too serious. They wanted more jokes, and um, she kind of flatlined a little bit during her debate. But her look was phenomenal. Um, Widow break down, breaks down and tells Rue that um, she started breaking down, and Rue told her stop doing that to listen to crit um criticism and don't always break down. Um, stop being a self saboteur, and so you know. She was and Lady Rachel was giving her a pep talk. Um, they loved um what else? They um they love um Jackie outfit, but they didn't the religion thing, and then she got emotional about you know her family and things like that, and you know, just the government and worth her religion. Gigi, they loved her look, but not the debate. Jada, they thought she was funny, they loved her look, they loved Jada look, they loved everything about Jada. Sherry Powell was safe. Heidi would say Jada was the winner for the $5,000. Get it, Jada. You redeemed yourself, girl. I love you, girl. Um, Crystal safe. Um, Gigi safe. Widow and Jackie is on the bottom. Um, they had the lip sync to Firework by Katy Perry. Jackie killed it because the outfit looks phenomenal. It looked kind of like Katy Perry. It was a beautiful outfit and it went with the song. Widow, you did your best, but that outfit and everything was not for that song, whatever. So Jackie won, and Widow goes home, but she was said, um, she told Rue that she knew that she let Rue down. Rue said, don't say that. And, you know, everybody gave her a hug, embraced her, but like I said, Widow, you, uh, you already made your mark. 
You're going to be right on the tour with the rest of the girls. You are a phenomenal person. You made a household name for yourself. And I'm proud of you, sis, that you got this far. And I love you, honeys. But that was the, that was it for this episode. It was kind of like, like I said, I don't like the debates. It was... That's not my favorite episode. That's not even a, a good episode for me. But anyways, your girl Lola loves you. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Leave comments. Y'all don't ever leave me no comments. Leave a comment down below. Share this video. And I'll be back with another one. I love my honey bunnies. Bye.